All right, here we are back with the fetal pig, and we're going to make some cuts, our first cuts. You can see that I've splayed out the pig. You can use rope. You can use these pins like I have. Uh, just the goal is to have it easily spread out so when I cut open, it's easier to see and work with. So the first thing we're going to do is feel the chest. You can do this even on your own body. When you feel the chest, you have your sternum, this chest bone that's protecting your thoracic cage, your lungs, and your heart. Um, you want to feel for the end of it. Where does it stop? This is the border between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal pelvic cavity, right where that soft point is. I'm gonna make a little hole with my scalpel. It doesn't have to be too deep, but a little X mark. So I know, have a frame of reference here. I'm gonna next take my scissors and I'm gonna cut, let's cut first into the thoracic cavity kind of doesn't matter, but let's go through here. So I'm cutting through the sternum. It's pretty simple since the bone isn't fully developed. It's pretty weak and it's also tiny. Cutting through the sternum, pretty superficial. I'm trying not to damage, trying my best not to damage the organs underneath because we want to see them more clearly. I'll cut the skin first all the way up to the throat. And we want to peel it away like a door. little messy here. Not my best work, but it'll do. All right, there's one side almost. I'm cutting the ribs here, as you can see, just so you can get that cavity open a bit more. And now the other side. There we go. A little bit more up here just to separate out some things. Great. All right, that'll do for now. We'll make a few more cuts in a minute. All right, what we can immediately see is a very large dense organ right here. This is the heart, right in the center of the chest. The flappy things on the either side of it, so this flap here and this flap here, those are the lungs. So this is the left lung, this is the right lung. Uh, you can see that the heart is kind of covered by this thin membrane. Let me use a different tool to pull it up. This thin membrane, that's the pericardium. It's the serous membrane that surrounds the heart. It's to lubricate the heart as it's moving, since the heart should be pumping all the time. You don't want friction. That's the uh, pericardial membrane. The lung simil similarly has a membrane surrounding it. If I can find it. The lung, the, what's surrounding the lung is the pleural membrane. The heart resides in the mediastinum pericardial cavity, which is in the mediastinum, the lungs reside in the pleural cavity. Both pericardial cavity, mediastinum, and um, the pleural cavities, they're all within the thoracic cavity. So all of this is in the thoracic cavity. Something that you can find sitting on top of the heart, kind of looks like this fatty tissue, that's an immune organ called the thymus. Sitting on top of the heart is an immune organ called the thymus. It's where T cells come from. Moving up, we can see, if we move some of this tissue out of the way, here is the trachea. Right here, let me grab it. This is the trachea. It's got cartilage rings if you look real close. If you feel it, it's got texture from those rings. It has those cartilage rings because you want the airway to be propped open. As you breathe, you never want the airway to collapse. That would be bad. If you look behind the trachea, let me carefully do this. If you look behind, posterior to the trachea, what you'll find is another tube that's a lot flimsier. This flimsy tube is the esophagus. Remember when I was pointing out the epiglottis? We want the epiglottis to block the entrance to the larynx and the trachea because we want to go down the esophagus. They are right next to each other. These openings are right next to each other. Follow this up the throat and you'll see that they continue on 
and the holes openings to them are right next to each other. Back to the trachea. The trachea, of course, leads to the lungs, but if you follow the trachea up, it leads to a bulge here. This bulge is the larynx. This bulge here is the larynx. The larynx, L-A-R-Y-N-X. This is where your voice box is. This is where the Adam's apple is, that cartilage protruding part of your neck. If you look just lateral... Sorry, one second. Trying to find the right spot. Okay, it's shown best here. If you look just lateral to the larynx and trachea, you'll find another squishy organ. That's the thyroid gland. Thyroid is by the larynx and trachea. Thymus is by the heart. Thymus is an immune organ. Thyroid is an endocrine organ. So once again, we've got our heart, lungs on either side, thymus, larynx, trachea, right here, trachea, thyroid, and then esophagus is hiding behind the trachea, right here. Here's our esophagus.